Fun, fun, fun. Fun is so pale when she goes to the tanning salon, she has to stay overnight. <laughs> when people meet Fern for the first time, they say hello, but what they're thinking is, oh, that's the color I want for my bathroom. <laughs> Fern is so white, Comedy Central had to book three extra black people on this series <laughs> to make up for it. Firstly, I've been advised not to mention paedophiles, making it impossible to joke about Phil's glasses. <laughs> and when you have the glasses of a sex offender and the fat tits of a baby, you must just <laughs> stare into a mirror molesting yourself. <laughs> oh. It's how I unwind. <laughs> Thank you, Fern. Fern there, looking like a trans Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> Your Fern was oh, actually... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Fern was actually approached for Shrek the Musical, cos uh, she already has the accent. <laughs> They'd save a fortune on makeup. <laughs> I probably don't know this, but uh, Fern is obsessed with plastic surgery and the idea of getting plastic surgery. Fern has actually already had Botox put in her forehead, uh, which means she can no longer look surprised. For example, when a waiter doesn't call her sir or she sees a vegetable. <laughs> uh, Fern's also told me that she wants to get a nose job, although knowing her, that probably just means she wants to get f***ed in the nostrils. <laughs> Brady, Fernie, Fernie, Brady, oh Brady, I'm just gonna keep repeating my name so I don't need to write a joke, which is a trademark of Phil's act. <laughs> Phil likes to say his name a lot at the opening of sets, and it's nice that someone is saying his name with a sense of satisfaction because usually he only hears it in a disappointed context. <laughs> oh, Phil, you've come already. <laughs>